Hey guys, and today I'm going to talk to you about wins. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what causes wind? Wind is caused by a difference in air pressure due to the unequal heating of the atmosphere. When wind occurs, there are several steps that occur in this process. It begins first with the heating of air. This causes a decrease in pressure. When this happens, the warm air rises, creating a low pressure. After this, cool air rushes into and replaces the warm air. This cooler dense air, in turn, produces high pressure. As air goes from a high pressure to a low pressure, winds are formed. Now, the wind speed a wind is measured by an instrument called an anometer. And there are two types of winds that I'm going to talk to you about. They are global winds and they are local winds. Global winds do not travel north and south because of the natural rotation of the Earth on its axis. Now, there are four types of global winds. They include doldrums, trade winds, prevailing westerlies, and polar easterlies. Here is just a general visual of global winds. When thinking of the descriptions of these global winds, the definition of many of their wording comes from the direction that they begins in. In this case, if you think of the easterlies, they begin from the east. When you think of the westerlies, they begin from the west. So, let's begin by talking first about the doldrums. Now, the doldrums are located at the equator. And these surface winds are generally calm and very mild. So one wonders, why are they called doldrums? Well, sailors found that there were no winds near the equator for a period of time. In essence, the ships were essentially stuck in one place, not being able to move forward. These calm periods were then became called doldrums. Trade winds are named from their ability to quickly propel trading ships from across the ocean. They are found between about 30 degrees latitude and the equator. They blow at a steady speed of 11 to 13 miles per hour. In the northern hemisphere, the trade winds blow from the northeast and are known as the northeast trade winds. In the southern hemisphere, the winds blow from the southeast and are called the southeast trade winds. Prevailing westerlies are strong winds, and they can be found in the belt from 30 to 60 degrees latitude in both hemispheres. This has an impact on the United States weather conditions. Polar easterlies are cold but weak winds. They are located near the north and south poles. They also can influence weather in the United States. And cooling takes place between the 50 and 60 degree latitude as it approaches the poles. Jet stream. Now the jet stream is a fast flowing river of air found in the atmosphere at around 12 kilometers above the surface of Earth, just under the tropopause. Now, what brings certain weather phenomena? Today I'm going to talk to you about two of these such phenomena that influences wind and temperature. One is El Nino and the other is La Nina. El Nino 
occurs when the surface temperature rises above the normal water temperature in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, creating more humidity in the atmosphere. This in turn is known to increase the number of hurricanes, and they occur more frequently every three to seven years. La Nina occurs when the surface temperature falls below the normal water temperature in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, creating a more dry atmosphere. This is known to create drought conditions. So when you think of El Nino, think of moisture, more humid type climates. And when you think of La Nina, you need to think of drought-like conditions. Now, continuing into local winds, Local winds cover short distances. They blow from any direction. And there are two types of local winds. They include sea breezes, which are winds from sea to land. And there are land breezes, which are winds from land to sea. Now, sea breezes can be described briefly by the image below. As air above the land surface is heated by radiation from the sun during the day, it expands and rises to become lighter than the surrounding air. To replace the rising air, cooler air is drawn in from above the surface of the sea. In this case, the air travels from the sea onto land. With land breeze, a land breeze occurs at nighttime when the land cools faster than the sea. In this case, it is air above the warmer surface water that is heated and rises, pulling air from the cooler land surface. And that concludes today's lesson on winds.